In a previous video, I mentioned my biggest project of the year is a feature length documentary film, but I didn't tell you what it's about. So allow me to do that now and also share some of the production challenges we face. The film is called Somewhere Along the Way. It's about Australian singer-songwriter Dan Mullins and how walking the Camino de Santiago has changed his outlook on life and influenced his music. Having walked a full Camino Frances myself in 2022, I can relate to how the Camino can be an internal spiritual journey of self-reflection and discovery. The film also has a second layer to it, which is a bit of a love letter to the Camino and Spain itself. Dan first walked the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage across northern Spain about eight years ago. He wrote what has become a Camino anthem, a song called Somewhere Along the Way. It's on many pilgrims' playlists, mine included. Dan had a major disaster just over a year ago. He lost his voice completely to a virus and was told he may never sing again. Despite that, he continued to write songs and after about 10 months did get his voice back and could sing again. The walk he's doing in May is going to be a very special one because He's invited people to walk with him and he's going to be playing those songs for the very first time in some rather special places too. This walk is also going to be a way of raising funds to record a studio album. This story, plus the incredible changing landscape as we walk across the different regions, the culture, the history, there's gonna be so much to film. It's gonna be so visually rich, but there are challenges. This is a 315 kilometer backpacking trip. Over two weeks or so, we're walking from Leon to Santiago with everything in our packs, clothes and camera equipment. Weight is the biggest challenge. I'm trying to figure out the camera, the lenses, the audio equipment, and all the other bits and pieces I need to make a film that I can easily walk with, often across very tricky terrain. We'll be walking up and down some pretty steep mountain ranges. I'm going to be doing a series of interviews, but I don't think I'm going to be able to carry any light. So we're going to have to figure out how to use the light available to us for that. There will be two of us making this film. I'm working with a guy called Andy Holloway, fantastic guy who's walked the Camino many times. Andy will be the second camera and probably a lot of other things too. I'm really looking forward to having somebody help me with this, I must admit. We're filming this in ProRes 422, which means lots of large files, which means lots of fast memory cards and lots of backup drives in duplicate. One challenge I'm having a hard time come to terms with is I won't be able to take an external monitor because the weight of the monitor and a couple of batteries to power it and the charger is just gonna be way too heavy. That means no false color and large monitor to see how I'm composing my shots and whether they're in focus. I'm gonna to have to rely on the camera's little monitor and internal waveform for exposure. Another thing is no cinema lenses. I love cinema lenses. I love manual focusing with them. I love their quality, but they're just way too heavy. So nope, no can do. Another challenge is the weather in Spain. You get lots of strong winds and rain, torrential rain, in fact. We need our gear to be water resistant and figure out how to keep it dry when things get really bad. And chances are they will get really bad based on previous experience. If you're interested in our camera gear choice, I'll run through that in a little bit more detail in an upcoming video. 
which may or may not already be linked here. You'll also find a journal that documents this production on my website at simonburncreative.com. <laughs>